Right, question. What are we on now? Nine. Question nine. Right, this shows the edge of a swimming pool. Oops, excuse me. Okay. Um, where the swimming pool is connected by some bolts. There's a force holding the diving board, not the swimming pool. Whoops. Um, at this point, it says the board is uniform and has a weight of 250 newtons. It is four meters long, so that would mean, according to the diagram, that is one meter. Oops, that is three meters. If someone stands on the end of a four 650 newtons, the board will want to turn around this point here, acting as a pivot. This distance must be one meter. So the question says, what is the force on the bolts? So, A. What is F, basically? Well, taking moments, if I call this point here A, if I take moments about A anti-clockwise, because it's in equilibrium, it's going to be equal to the moments of A clockwise. So the clockwise, sorry, the anti-clockwise force here is the force by the bolt F, which is one meter away. So F times one would be equal to the weight of the board, 250 times one, plus the weight of the person, so that's 650 times three. So that will give us an equation that says F is 250 plus, well 650 times three is 1950, which is equal to 2200 Newtons. Part B says, well, what is the force on the edge of the swimming pool? So basically the support force, S, pushing up here. Resolving vertically, S is the upward force. So S would be balanced by the downward forces, so that would be F plus 250. 650. <coughs> so that's equal to 2200 plus 250 plus 650, which is equal to 3100 newtons.